Then a family on the south side is mourning the loss of their loved one. They say he was shot and killed while celebrating his bachelor party on Friday night. Fox 59's Melissa Crash joins us from the newsroom and she has more on exactly what happened and why the family calls this a tragic accident. Melissa. Shannon Singerman should be helping her sister plan her wedding. Instead, she's helping her plan a funeral. To go from supposed to be going to your bachelorette party to having to go and plan your fiance's funeral. That's, you know, it's just so tragic. Shannon Singerman's brother-in-law, Christopher Smith, was shot and killed the night of his bachelor party. A horrible, horrible freak accident. He was out celebrating at Jake's Pub on West Southport Road with his family on Friday night. In just 13 days, he would start a new part of his life. He made a big turnaround in his life and gave his life to God and him and my sister were due to be married. So he was very, very happy. As a pastor of his church, Singerman says her brother-in-law always wanted to help others. We do charity work at our church with a food pantry and we have even done homeless outreach. Police have not released what led to the shooting. We have learned a suspect has been identified and detectives are working to build a case. They had yelled out, you know, this guy's got a gun. You know, call the cops, this guy's got a gun. And when they did that, my brother-in-law just jumped up and tried to charge the guy to try to keep him from doing anything. Singerman believes Christopher's actions saved other lives at the pub that night. He was one of the most selfless men I've ever met. And I really believe that, you know, him getting, taking those bullets and getting shot and killed was his one last selfless act before he went home to be with God. Jake's Pub posted online that they're trying to put the pieces together after this terrible tragedy. The pub closed on Saturday to pay their respects to the family. We've learned from IMPD that this investigation is ongoing and we should learn more later on this week. For now, reporting in the newsroom, I'm Melissa Crash, Fox 59 News.